You're not as bright now. Good, good morning. morning. How are you? Good, good. I don't have my head wrap on yet, but I'll wait now. <laughs> because I don't think people want to see me putting on my head wrap. So, so we're doing a bunch of aerations again this morning. And then maybe mowing some in the afternoon uh, a little bit later. We got a ton of rain again last night. Yeah. Um, when we were going... The boss was already asleep. It started pouring down rain, and it rained for, I think, all the way to five in the morning. Oh my gosh! Really? Yeah. I mean, that's why the roads are still wet. Yeah. Um, crazy. and we're supposed to get a couple inches tonight. So, and then after that, there's no rain for two weeks. But that's deceiving, I think. Yeah, because there's still. I think there's a tropical system might end up start brewing down mm -hmm. in the Caribbean and come up into the west coast of Florida into that area again again yeah. i'm making my prediction so we'll see how i am two weeks out this isn't until october 5th to 10th that that's supposed to happen yeah so, so today is september 28th even though you guys are seeing this later um he's yeah it, we're looking like mid-october we're gonna so get we'll see storms. but we're gonna get out and aerate this one we already okay. mowed it we aerated the whole front um mm -hmm. it got too late rachel's gonna go aerate the back i'm gonna put the fertilizer seed down um, and then I'll come back there and start putting dirt, I guess. Yep, we have soil that we want to put here on this hill and then any spots. In that the hill bed. used to be completely bare. Yeah, it actually it looks over. much, much better. Yeah. So, okay, yeah, let's go. All right. So, this is my wheelbarrow today, guys. We seeded everything but the backyard and this side here. And Rachel aerated the back, but so we aerated all this, as you can see. My wheelbarrow, I left that. The sod job, yeah, we have two, but the other one's broken. Um, so I'm using this. It's not very, very time efficient, but it's getting it done. Boss is over here sitting down on the job. Yeah. Not doing anything while I'm doing all this hard work. Really? <sighs> Where do you want this one? Um, I guess right here too. You look a little dirty. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. You were doing work. See, there's like a couple of those here. So there you go. That's my wheelbarrow for today. Yeah. But I'm not gonna go buy a wheelbarrow just to see we're gonna fill all dirt here and some here. Just areas that have given trouble. Man, it's almost 80 degrees out today. We went from 60 to 80 and then tomorrow's I think today's high is 81 and tomorrow's high is 61 with rain all day so and I was forecast too um in western North Carolina we've had uh I think I've seen in the last 30 days like 14 15 inches of rain that's a lot for 30 days and I think they're calling for two inches more tomorrow so needless to say it's put a bind in our schedule pretty big so that's why we worked sunday yesterday so let me get the rest of this out of here so why do i need a compost spreader when i have the boss right yep. got that right <laughs> you're the compost spreader i'm the compost after about 30 buckets of that then get back to me <laughs> I, I need a compost spreader guys <laughs> yes so i'm out here putting the seed down then i'm going to rake this back over again um yeah, I'm putting all this seed back here. It's probably a little overkill, but we want this to grow nicely. So let me get this done, then we're done this one. There you go. This one's done. We're going to get rain tonight, a bunch of it. So in two weeks, we're going to come back and see what it looks like. Maybe 10 days, because all the rest of the lawn might need to be mowed. But we're trying to wait 10 to 14 days before we mow anybody's. Right? Yeah. So, buys us time to get caught up. It's hard work when they do soil like this, but it the benefits just are so good, right? That yeah. It's so beneficial for the lawn. And the rain will wash the clay off. When you have clay, you can't. There's yeah, nothing you, you can do about it. When you're aerating and seeding, that their lawn is going to look worse before it looks better. Yeah. So, okay, off to the next four.
so here's the next one we're doing. Uh, she could go down a little bit more on the pressure if she needs to. Um, you can see there's a lot of clay in this soil still, but I mean, you're not gonna do anything unless you put like organic material on. But we have four to do in here. And I think we're concentrating more on getting these aerations done and we mow people as we go. Some people that were not doing aerations, they're just gonna have to wait a little longer to be mowed. But it's not too bad. Just pulling my plugs. So in small areas like this, instead of turning back and forth every way, um, we tend to just move over with the aerator about five inches and then just run the same pass on it only because to make all them turns, there's no point. You're doing two passes anyway, um, instead of crossing it, but. Pretty much these yards, I can't do nothing. I mean, I'm gonna spread the fertilizer, but. So the hole's about that deep. Um, you don't need six inch cores, guys. You don't need cores all the way down to center earth and that. Um, anywhere from three, four inches is good. Um, you just don't want one inch cores. Like this is about three inches. Um, like I said, you don't get any bonus for going deeper. You're just hitting clay anyway. Um, and you're putting more stress on the machine when you're pumped up to five, six, seven hundred pounds. See where it's more wet, you're getting cores like this. Um, and then we seed after we core, so the seed goes down in these holes. And you guys know I'm explaining like in every video we aerate how to do it because not everybody watches the videos and if it can give them some help on how to do it. And I'm pretty sure these are all our minimum, these three, four yards in here. And this is another batch of uh, yards we got from a friend. And we picked up maybe three more aerations from neighbors. Okay, let me go spread this fertilizer over here. And we're, site one did not have the fertilizer I needed. So they had this stuff, which was 12 bucks a bag, half off. Um, it's a 16.48. So all I'm doing is putting it down at double the rate because the other stuff I had was a 20 something eight and a higher end number so all i'm going to do is put it down a little heavier um so if they don't have it i can't buy it and that's 12 so for two of these bags you're talking about 22 dollars we figured out 24 dollars and the other one was 30 so a little cheaper but i think in the end because i'm using more it's going to end up being the same anyway okay rachel's almost done we did all this all the back i've seated everything except for this strip in the front here. Um, so with my seed, what I do is because I don't, I don't run with a guard on, on the spreader. So what I do usually is just go around my edges, just like this, 
and sprinkle seed all along my edges. And then my next pass, I go slow so I don't shoot it as little in the beds as possible, but you can see it's windy, so there's nothing you can do if it's windy. I've been trying to hand spread it and it blows into the bed, a gust of wind comes. So the best you can, and then later you can either weed the bed or hit it with a little bit of roundup. But okay, let me finish this. So here's the next two. I already did the front. Pulled a lot of cores out of this one. Um, so I did the front. Rachel's doing the rest over here. We're aerating this one and seeding this one. We're not fertilizing it. Um, so let's go ahead and get this done. I'm gonna fertilize them now. But as you can see, the cores are, some, some spots are bigger, some spots are smaller because there's a lot of clay in the back. But let me go ahead and do that. So that's two more done for the day. Rachel's blowing everything off. I think we did four total. Well, one was a continuation, but um, we're gonna go do one more over here and that might be it. It's already almost four o'clock. We we're hoping to get soil and go do another one, but that didn't happen. Ah, aerations take so much longer, guys. But definitely worth it because we've on, we're gonna do five today and that's like $1,500, so definitely worth it. Boss is ready. So we finished the fifth one for the day. Um, not many weeds in this lawn. We did spray it a couple weeks back, but I mean, this doesn't need much. This is a really, really nice lawn. Um, really thick and lush. You can't even see the cores she pulled out because it's so thick. See? But not bad, not bad. Anything good to say, boss? No. Just that I'm sad that we're done for the day. We did not think this morning before this day started to make sure that we had enough seed to go and do anymore. The girls have to go to work anyway, and it's Monday. Yeah, so. we, and we did five aerations. How much you plan for the day? I mean, I didn't have enough. Well, who else did we have on today? Well, we had some mowing. Yeah, and then we were going to maybe try to take some more soil over to, to do one job. One job. Yeah, to that, do he, they're at 13 days mowing today. They're, they're weekly, but we've been slowing down, and mm -hmm. um, we were going to go there and mow and do everything. But I think I have enough seed to do it, but we definitely need the soil, and I don't want to go back. Yeah. We, we want to be able soil. to mow this, put down the soil, seed, aerate, or aerate, seed, fertilize, mow. Um, probably hit it with a tenacity again and then be done for two weeks until we come back again. Yeah. So the ones that we're not getting to mowing that are behind, we're kind of aerating and seeding a lot of them now as we mow them. Yeah, and then so. they go two weeks because we want the seed to set. And, and then the other ones that don't get aeration and seed, um, they're not behind a ton, only two of them are. Mm -hmm. And the rest are coming on being, they need to be mowed. But, well, the what the other two are just at 14 days or they're a little over? They're probably at 16 or 17. Okay. Yeah, and they're two-week accounts, so... Yeah, they're two-week accounts, but they haven't been growing. And like I was telling Rachel, we just have to explain to the clients that don't get aeration seed and fertilizer. We only have a certain window to get... And it's not like we threw on extra ones all year. We told people that came up to us they got to wait a couple weeks. Yeah, yeah. But um, we only have a certain window to get these ones done. And they, they're clients that have been clients of ours. So we need to get them done. Then we'll resume mowing. Well, and the hard done. thing is, is when you have a certain window to get them done and each one of those weeks you've been rained out two days. Oh yeah, last week it was two days. This week's a day. Um, the week before that was two days. Yeah. So, so and we may, worked on Sunday to mow an overgrown one, but we'll get to it. You guys yeah. know our schedule, but. Yeah, yeah. And, and like we said, it's, in our opinion, really, it's just keeping your clients up to date and, hey, this is what's going on. You yeah. know, we did not forget about you 
and know that once we're there, it's gonna look great. Well, not when we do aerations, it doesn't look no. great. It looks like there's like dog poos all over the yard. And you gotta understand, in, in, the, in the last 30 days, like I said, I was looking at the thing and it showed in the Western Carolinas, we've had between 12 and 16 inches of rain in the last 30 days. That's a lot of rain. Even yeah. today it was wet, right? So Yeah, so crazy. He actually, uh, the one um, client did tell me that they got a little bit of rain this morning. This yeah, morning, I told you that. Uh, yeah, I didn't know. Uh, that. Yeah, I, I seen a line. I didn't think we were going to be able to. But we got it yeah, done. Yeah, we got it done. They were fine. And um, I actually had it up pretty high because they're clay yards. So yeah. I wanted to really pull out good size plugs. So. Mm -hmm. Well, we do appreciate you guys watching, so please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And be happy, guys. Yes, or at least try. Have a good night. Have a good night.